much to see in Sidi Bouzid. A mosque, a few government buildings, a small market where men sell Tunisia's strong, sweet red tea. And a taxi stand that resident Rita Bargugi shows visitors. It was here where a frustrated 26-year-old vegetable seller, Mohamed Bouazizi, set himself on fire. His act triggered Tunisia's January Revolution and the broader Arab Spring uprising that followed. Today, Sidi Bouzid has another local hero, 36-year-old Adel Hamami, who threatened to expose fraud within the old ruling party. The young father died in February after being summoned to a police station. At Hamami's home, Sister Munjia talks about how they found his body at a hospital, burnt beyond recognition. He had fourth degree burns. He was completely charred from head to toe. Four police officers are now on trial in connection with his death. He's not the only one. There were others involved. Other city Bouzid residents are also unhappy, but for different reasons. Bargugi, who showed us the taxi stand, lost his job as a history teacher in 1998. He's still unemployed. Nothing's changed. Everything is blocked. People are blocked. There's nothing new since the revolution. Local activist Mohamed Sher Nouri says many of the problems driving Tunisia's revolution remain, not only in Sidi Bouzid, but across the country. There has been no local development, no involvement of the people into any decision process, whether it's political or economic or social. Unemployment remains high. Jobless college graduates have pasted their diplomas on municipal buildings. Nori has founded a local NGO called Madrasa. The group has developed a blueprint for grassroots change in this rural region, starting with agricultural development. We need two things. One is give good signs, clear signs, visible that things the local development is starting and second this gives hope to the people that the future will be better than what it has been. Okay. Nori's group has presented the blueprint to the government in Tunis. He says the initial response has been good. But Hamami's family says the government has not responded to its request for a broader investigation into his death. They're still waiting for justice to be done. Lisa Bryant for VOA News, Sidi Bouzid, Tunisia.